everybody. Good morning from Switzerland. Thanks for having me here this afternoon. Looking back, my first visit to the University of California at LA has been over 50 years ago when I was a postdoctoral fellow at the California Institute of Technology investigating mechanisms of enzyme reactions and the nature of inter and intramolecular hydrogen bondings. It is exciting to note that meanwhile Francis Arnold at Caltech has received Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the directed evolution of enzymes and Kat and Amar has become an indispensable scientific and medicinal tool. The summary, the presentation is my the presentation is about my presentation today is about the plastics in general and the smart plastics in particular, their applications and the potential remedies of the environmental concerns of the use of plastic. The knowledge and experience gained from the proposed terminal disposal of the smart plastics by cold incineration could be employed to import more efficiency to fossil fuels, enabling reduced emissions and less energy losses in their use for the sake of carbon neutrality. This slide shows the picture of PPM triazine, the, 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 the product that we have developed for pyrotorrency and processing of plastics and safe incineration and efficient energy extraction of waste plastic. Synthesis. This, this slide shows here the solvent free process for the synthesis of morpholino polypiprazinyl morpholinyl triazines. Cyanuric chloride is condensed with morpholine, which is then reacted with piprazine and which is polymerized to chloropolypiprazinyl morpholinyl triazine and ultimately reacted with morpholine to get chlorine free. PPM triazine. The technology is particularly characterized by the fact that for the sake of reducing carbon footprint of the synthesis, no organic solvent is used in any step. Composed of most common harmless elements, the only byproduct of the synthesis is the naturally occurring sodium chloride. The picture shows SCM picture of particle size and shape of PPM triazines, which is important for the functionality of this product, consisting of hexagonal sh uh, shaped individual particles. Incineration and fire resistance of polypropylene composites without and with PPM triazine technology. Here the tests, we are showing here the limiting oxygen test, index test of flammability. Polypropylene itself burns at 17.2% oxygen content in the air and it continues burning if, if not uh, extinguished. Whereas the composites containing PPM triazine and uh, with, in combination with various uh, different fire retardants do, do, do not burn and form a fire barrier and stop uh, burning short time. Mechanism of PPM triazine technology for fire resistance. We believe that there is formation of ceramic oxynitrides related to graphene as barriers for fire resistance and heat dissipation. The focus in fire retardancy thus far has been on the formation of char that can produce more smoke. In our case, we are aiming at the colorless or less char forming residue at the fire point. This is uh, the structure of oxynitrides in combination with inorganic fillers. And this is the structure of oxynitride with phosphorus containing uh, fire retardants. The principle of the synthesis is outlined in this reference. 
or thermal stability beyond antioxidants and antioxidants in milk processing in recycling for sustainability thermal stability of polypropylene this slide shows the thermal stability tga of polypropylene and polypropylene composites 10 and 20 containing piperazine triazine and ammonium polyphosphate in various in uh, air versus nitrogen atmosphere the picture here is the tga of uh, these various composites showing a difference of 46 degrees Celsius. On the right hand side is the same uh, TGA of the samples uh, under nitrogen atmosphere showing hardly showing any difference between uh, between showing very little difference between uh, PPM triazine containing and not TGM containing uh, composites. The difference However, it is, to, it is to be noted that the thermal stability here is much more than uh, in air. This is the structure, the stereotype responsible for thermal stability in milk processing of plastic with PPM triazine. PPM triazine is, exists, we believe, in the, in the boat form and when exposed to heat, it gets uh, exists in the chair form and when exposed to heat gets converted to boat form and thus absorbing heat and heat energy. Pathway to plastic management under thermic incineration and efficient energy extraction. Plastics are basically high quality solid fuels. We should be fully utilizing their life cycle for the sake of sustainability. Thus, of all the alternatives available, most logical procedure of their ultimate disposal is by incineration and energy extraction in closed systems. Incineration of any waste is particularly, particularly desired to prevent the occurrence and reoccurrence of infectious diseases. However, for safe, environmentally friendly and efficient energy extraction, Endothermic oxygen, uh, endothermic incineration uh, is required. These objectives can best be achieved by importing suitable incineration resistance to most plastics, not only for their ultimate safe disposal, but also for their, for their safety while in use. To be noted is that much of the energy of combustion processes is lost in combustion gases and hence the need for endothermic incineration. PPM triazine technology for fire resistance, fire uh, um, uh, and energy extraction. Here we have the example of polypropylene with and without PPM triazine. The peak heat release rate of polypropylene itself when it burns produces 800 kilowatts per square meter of heat whereas the samples containing PPM triazine are uh, contain, um, produce only 20% of the heat. The burning time is prolonged, almost double, that means the, the energy is better you utilize. And most important, the smoke, there is very little, very little smoke production, meaning that carbon emissions are very low. Future outlook, the knowledge and experience gained from endothermic incineration of plastic should be used in search of economical and cleaner combustion fuels, less emissions and lower combustion temperatures to arrest global warming. To be borne in mind should be that much of the energy of combustion processes is lost in combustion gases and not fully utilized fuels. For fire safety of electrical engineering storage devices, much more efficient fire and resistance is required. Here, and even for space research, in situ sedimentation technology of fire retardancy is perhaps the solution. The mechanisms proposed here, herein should also be used for the creation and the theoretical studies of new smart materials. This work has been done collaboration with various universities worldwide. I, however, the in OP 
opinions and interpretation of the results of entirely of the author himself. Thank you for listening.